Nirvana, Hairspray Queen. All right, pretty bonkers song here. Uh, I'll play through all the different sections, give you the main bass riff, all that good stuff. Um, afterwards, I'll go back through, give you a little more explanation of what I'm doing, kind of uh, guide you through it a little more if you need some help. Please help out the channel. Hit that subscription button. Coming out with a lot of videos. Don't want to miss them. Be greatly appreciated. All right, let's do this. Okay, so there are, you know, a handful of just, you know, coherent parts of the song, like riffs, you might call them. But then there's a ton of just noise stuff going on. Um, this will be one of the, you know, main things happening. This happens uh, kind of at the start and like the second parts of uh, most of the verses going on here. And it's just playing this real dissonant, crazy chord. Uh, do something like this where we just slide out from like five to open on the E. All right, and we end up on this F based chord here where you can just hit like the F power chord but then add some fours here with your pinky on like the G, B, and E just to make it sound nasty. All right, and we're just going to be strumming on that, hitting a lot of dead string strums in the midst of it, you know, and then just sprinkling in those fretted uh, weird chords. Just arbitrary, you know, uh, loose feel to it. All right. And then the interesting thing here is there's this riff that we do next, and it's just real nasty, weird thing, but he does it multiple times, so it's, you know, kind of planned out. It sounds all messed up and weird, but it's actually kind of a planned out thing. So uh, what we want to do is kind of come up to G, give it a little bend at 8, and that'll cue us into our next spot. And we'll end up on uh, 10B, 9G, and just give that 9G a little bend. Okay. From there, we're just going to chromatically go up a step to where we're 11B, 10G. Pick around that a little bit, just time or so, 
come up again a fret. So we end up on 12B, 11G. And you want to stay here a little longer, just pick through this a little more. All right, and ultimately we'll end up on 14G, 15B. You just want to give those a bend. All right, it's supposed to sound nasty. Right, okay, so uh, from there we do this little riff. Uh, 11G, 12B, where we were, hit it. Hit it and slide it down a fret. So we're 10G, 11B. Hit that again, so we go down to 8G, 9B. Hit that, come back up to that 10 and 11. All right, so funky weird riff, but uh, you want to do it, you know, just the same twice through. Now we'll get into some of these noise things. Um, the, after the first time we do that interlude section, uh, he just kind of plays around some harmonics, something like this where we hit like some seven on the E and the A, and then hit an open A and D under it. Okay, just random noisy thing. Uh, then come over, hit some nines on the E, A, D harmonics. Okay, and then maybe back to the sevens, E, A, D. Okay. And ultimately end up with this uh, funky bend thing. Hit a three on the E, come up, hit the four and bend it, slow release. All right, just noise, arbitrary random stuff going on here. Okay, do the interlude again, then we got this uh, post interlude improvisational thing again. Uh, kind of a riff thing going on here. Uh, start at six on the E, give it a bend, hit it, release it, and slide down to four, hit that, slide it out, back to four again. Something like that, and then now we can put some power chords to it, kind of. We'll come up to uh, 6 E 8 A, slide it up a fret, 79 A. Hold that a moment. Now we we'll take that 7 and 9, slide it down to 6 and 8. Slide the 6 and 8 down to 4 and 6. And then bring it back up to the 6 and 8. All right, go through that a couple times. And now probably the more, most coherent part of the song, it's these little bridge sections, and there's not much to them. Um, just hitting an open E chord, uh, open E power chord, just go through it four times. I think it's probably eight times uh, when we do it towards the end there. Now we get a big long noise section here. Uh, I won't mess around and guide you through every step of this because it's just random improv noise stuff. Um, just kind of give you a, a loose guideline of the types of things going on and you can follow along with it or just make your own improv noise, which is always fun. So just to give you a little uh, guide of uh, where to start being noisy, here we go.
at the end, we get kind of this metal riff happening, which is pretty cool. Uh, kind of just some chromatic uh, power chord scaling thing. Um, start here at the uh, 6E8A, slide it down to the 5 and the 7. Hit a quick open E, take the 5 and 7 down to the 4 and 6. Open quick E again, take the 4 and 6 down to 3 and 5, just chromatically moving here. All right, same style, open E, 3 and 5 to 4 and 2. All right, and then just finish on an open E with the 1 and 3, and just hit that a couple times. And then just finish on an open E power chord. All right, so the bass section here, real funky bass, kind of bananas. All right, we're going to slide up to 10 on the E, hit the 12 on the A, then slide the 11 E out. Okay, and on our way down, Come over and we hit the 5 to open on the A. And then we just loop that whole thing. All right. And that's, you know, the bulk of the song right there. Uh, there's a little variant in the intro where we just take everything about a fret higher for a couple times. Like slide up to the 11E, hit the 13A, slide out the 12E, and then just hit the 6 to open on the A. And just do that a couple times, you know, randomly. Alright. And the bridge sections where everything kind of comes together and actually is a little more coherent. Uh, all we're doing there is just hitting some open E's. Okay. No big deal there. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tabletry books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.